So how to write test cases? First of all, uh, we need to uh, mention preconditions. And preconditions, sometimes they know as the prerequisites, and they used to describe the initial context, uh, context, which is kind of in the past usually. So it's not the actual test, but something that uh, supposed to happen before the test, right? So on this image on the right side, you see kind of the, the idea. You cannot drive a car uh, unless you put some oil in it. So something, something like that, right? And in our case, it's gonna be something real like user is on login page or should be on login page before we actually even start testing. So it's, it's not considered to be the actual test. It's kind of what, what happens before the test. So usually we kind of keep those details aside, right? So we kind of say that it's not that important how you get to the login page, let's say, but what's something after is gonna be important. So the next one is steps. And steps uh, are used to describe um, event or action. So usually we say like the, some person, person action. Remember that uh, slide from the, uh, from the last class? There was a stimulus and there was a response, right? So this one is kind of stimulus. This is what user does. Yeah, sometimes it's not like user, but some other system but most of the times it's user. For example, user logs in with, with valid credentials, right? So this is actual test, what, like what we should do. Um, again, you see, we, we write all of those so anyone could repeat our test cases. Again, if we write defects for developers, test cases we usually write for another testers and maybe for yourself because, um, at the time of writing and at the time of executing, um, it can take like a week or two weeks or whatever, um, or maybe months even sometimes. So you would never, even if it's for yourself, you the only tester in the company, you will forget the stuff for sure. So you're writing it for yourself and sometimes you read it in a few months and you like, who the hell was guy? Like how come, who, who wrote, this test case is so poorly. And then you see it actually says that it was you and you're like, ah, oh, damn it. Okay, so, so yeah, try, um, try uh, to write them as you kind of do it for yourself. Um, and then what's expected result, the outcome of the action after the steps, right? What should happen next? It's like, like a future now, right? So. The precondition like a past, steps like a, a present and a expected result, what, what should you expect like after you, you, um, you've taken those steps. So let's say if you're logging in, then you should see welcome message, for example, right? So you can see here on the right side, after and before. So we're looking at kind of after. We expect it to be like this nice, Hopefully it is that nice and not like this, right? Okay, um, just a couple of uh, practi best practices for you guys before we start actually writing them. So uh, try, we can have multiple preconditions, steps and expected results if needed. Uh, sometimes um, some of those test cases can be very tricky and it can take uh, quite a while to, to really get to the state of the application or do the steps, uh, but try to keep uh, the least possible number of steps. So I would say from three to five is kind of a sweet spot really, but shorter is better. Uh, again, it's a documentation. Um, you ha it has to be really uh, very clearly written, um, but should be concise as much as possible, right? 